Yo, what's up guys? Out here in the DJ garage of all of our equipment. Uh, we're working on the, the turntable booth. Working on my custom turntable booth. Um, just freshening it up, cleaning up the Rain 12s, cleaning everything, doing a little maintenance here. Uh, this is mid-April, doing a little maintenance to clean up everything uh, before we go into crazy May and June. And then followed by that, we're going to get into crazy July, fall, and everything else that has to come after that. Um, but getting a nice fresh coat of white paint on her, cleaning her up, putting some more varnish on the top, making everything look nice and good to go. But anyways, today's video is gig log from 2021. Uh, I do have, I believe, three gig logs I'm going to be bringing you guys from October. Two of those are double headers and two of them are dope venues. Today's gig log is from Oak Haven. I just want to share this with you guys because I, I personally thought this was a really cool uh, event. And we had some singing and a guy playing a saxophone and I had a lot of content related to kind of the setup and showing you guys some tips and tricks before the event even happened. A lot of you guys want to see the setup, you guys want to see more details on stuff there is. I'm working on making more detail in my gig log and making more videos and trying to make them more educational because personally I'm getting tired of the whole like, what up guys, here's the gear, here's the event, out. I want to... I wanna, I want to provide you guys with some more tips. So if you guys have any questions, anything you want me to show you guys at events, leave it in the comment section down below. But anyways, let's get into today's gig log. Flashback to Ricky in 2021 that looks a little, looks like he lost a little bit of weight back then. What's up guys? Another weekend in October. We have another three weddings this weekend. One of them is mine. Two of them are Marcellus. Um, so yeah, I only got one tonight. We do have the largest crowd I have had in all of 2021. We have 185 guests tonight, which will be the record for me. Drake has the record for the most overall at 210, which he did two weekends ago, I think. House updates, as you can see behind me, I have a mud pit of a yard. Um, been working on that, just giving you guys a, some life updates because if you guys didn't know, bought this house in February. There's a whole channel on this house called the Avocado House where we go through all the details of what we're doing in terms of modifications, go follow that channel if you aren't already to learn more about house projects and all the fun stuff I'm doing. Um, currently in the garage, which is also very sick. The garage is being documented on the Taco Rick channel. I have three YouTube channels if you didn't know. This one, a truck channel or a car automotive channel where we're documenting the garage progress and then a house DIY project channel. Because I'm very industrious, I like to do stuff and I like to film it and I like to give back. So go check out those channels. Anyways, did want to give a quick little plug. Check that out. That right there, that is sick. More details to come on this. Uh, I'll leave some links in the description down below with a little more info. But we're going to make some more information on that. Basically, uh, I partnered with a company, a good friend of mine over in California that uh, makes those. And uh, we're going to be offering them to clients. And we're going to be bringing that service to you guys as well. So you can offer these custom LED signs to your clients as upsells and add-ons. Lots of stuff coming on that. And they are the same price, if not cheaper, than a lot of these big box websites that are making these things. And these are a lot more higher quality in my opinion. And you can do custom stuff like colors. More to come on that. Welcome, welcome. This is Oak Haven property. This is a giant room. We're set for, I think, just under 200 people today. Nice, big, really laid out well. No beams in the center. Tons of outlets all the way around. Cool LEDs they got going right there. Um, but yeah, monogram today. I'm gonna go back there. Of course, we are set up in the corner. Like always, you know, DJ's always in the corner, but we're gonna put speakers on either side here, sub stack and speakers on either side of this setup. And then we're gonna set up our back rack. Really, it's gonna be a front rack today, I guess, but it's gonna be set up off to the side here and the turntable booth's gonna be over here. So that's kind of the setup. Uh, we'll start a time lapse. I'm not entirely sure how well it'll be because the, the light from outside is very blinding. So we'll see. Yo, so uh, I don't know when we uh, left off on the time lapse in terms of where we were at, but um, we got a pretty cool setup for you guys today. We're putting the speakers on the floor. That's it, that's what we're doing. So yeah, we put the JBL PRX7 15XLFs on the floor along with the 712s. We thought it would be a great match. We just put them both on the floor. We're gonna stick the sub poles out of them as well. Um, doing that on both sides, I think that'll provide great coverage for this room. No, we're, we're not doing that. This is purely for the ceremony because they're doing the ceremony up here and we want them out of pictures. We're actually running a Bose L Pro 16 back here on the side for the ceremony to do the ceremony audio portion. 
those will go up on top of the sub poles for the reception portion of this evening, which is all gonna take place in the same room as well as cocktail. I just wanted to throw a little joke in there. Uh, how many of you guys have just about went to the comments? Let me know in the comments below because obviously that would have been a terrible setup. So yes, both sides we already have the JBL PRX 715 XLS with the 712 tops and the sub poles. We're gonna put those up on the sub poles for the reception and cocktail later on. Big room around here. Um, we are running up lighting as well. Up lighting is shut off up here for the ceremony as well. We are running the custom turntable booth with the Rain 12s and the Pioneer S9 as always. Side rack over here. Uh, we do have a lot of audio involved today because uh, the father of the bride is going to be using the saxophone as well as singing their first dance today. So we're doing some pretty awesome stuff with audio. So we have both of the Audio Technica 3000 fourth gens in the rack as well as two more down below from the ceremony rack. We're only using one though. So we're using one, it's feeding in on channel five on the 12 channel mixer. This is a little pro tip to have at least a 10 to 12 channel mixer for your reception setups because you might run into situations like this. Drake's over here messing around. We're running Serato DJ Pro, Pioneer DJ Pro, is gr trash, it's record box, it's, it's terrible. Serato all the way, Serato all the way. Uh, V-Moto custom headphones up there, those are the, the wireless LP2s. Um, back here, of course, um, we also have Chave Show Express, we're running Chave Show Express on the 14 inch HP Spectra, that's the 15 inch right there with my logo on it. Um, we're just doing up lights today, so right now they are around the room on this nice amber color. We can hit them onto a color mode real quick. And you guys can see them activate around the room. They're going to look dope later on. We are putting four more of them on the mantle. There's two of them there turned off, and there's going to be two up above to light up that whole entire mantle because this is where the dance floor is going to be. Now, I was mentioning to you guys that along with running two lapels for the ceremony, we have a handheld for a reader over there, as well as when we do the reception, we need two handhelds for the saxophone and the singing, as well as one handheld for me to talk. We need three in total for that one situation, and we're also gonna be doing toast, so there's a lot of handhelds involved today. Can't skip over, but we're using the DBX Drive Rack PA2 over here, pretty much to its potential, because right now we're running the high output, so this thing has three outputs. Go check out my video if you don't understand what I'm talking about, but this has three individual outputs, which are labeled low, mid, and high. You can use them as full range outputs though, so they're labeled as that, but really it's output one, two, and three, and you can make them either low outputs, mid outputs, full range outputs, whatever you want. Go check out my video on the DBX Driveback PA2 if you want more information on that, as well as the anti-feedback suppression that we're running to help reduce with feedback in this room which has a lot of natural reverb to it. So the high output we're running to our mains over there which are the P JBL PRX system. The mid output we're running one of them out along this way over here to the Bose L Pro 16 or the Pro 16. Bose Pro 16 column array speaker and we're using just this one speaker to cover all of the ceremony. So it's gonna provide all of the backfill audio here for the ceremony. Let me tell you, this thing's got plenty, plenty of power to it to handle a whole entire ceremony of 200 plus people, which we're, I think we're gonna have right around 180 today. So that's a good selling point for the Bose system. It is really loud and it can handle a whole entire ceremony, no problem with just one speaker. Two speakers, they do very well for uh, dance floor coverage, but I find that they don't do well in narrow, long rooms like this one. Um, they do really well if you're in a rectangle. So like in this room right here, if we were set up over there, two of those Boses would do very well. They, did, they do really good at wide coverage, not really long coverage, but that's part of the design. But nonetheless, really cool speaker. Moving on though, we do have some more lighting we need to talk about. Of course, we do have the both lighting S4s running all the way around the room, but we also have over here on a stand, they are not turned on yet, but these are our ADJ Inno, or pin spots, ADJ pin spot goes with white, so turn it on, turn it off. These are gonna be shot up in the air, we're gonna raise them up, and we're gonna shoot them onto their cake down there to light up their cake. Uh, of course, we're gonna wait until after ceremony. Ceremony was supposed to take place down at their ceremony location, but it has been raining nonstop for the past three days, so it is quite muddy, so we moved inside. Good decision. Then if we come over here, the last piece that we're doing in terms of lighting is our monogram. You might have caught it earlier, but we have our stand right here with our Epson projector light 2250U projecting our monogram up there on the wall. Pretty far for row, about 25, 30 feet, sitting on top of the gravity stand. And of course, all of the monograms are for projectorgram.com. I'll link them down in the description down below for you guys to check out. But anyways, 
sit tight and uh, we'll be doing Ceremony of Air soon. So I love the setup here at Oak Haven. As soon as you walk in, you have the gift table right on the right. You have a little sign in there, sign in this awesome wooden barrel. I think it's the top of a barrel. Dope thing, they're signing right there. You have your bathrooms right next to it. Then you walk right into this just show-stopping entrance right here. Bunch of tables today. We have like 200 people over here. We're gonna have the caterers right off the kitchen, as well as we have the awesome bar right here. Wonderful setup, you gotta, you gotta love it. Set up perfectly for weddings and events. Uh, as you walk in, you can see we've done up lighting all the way around the room. Looks very amazing. And then up here above, we have an awesome monogram as well set up for Natalie and Kimrick. It's awesome. So that just ended. This is a completely animated monogram. So basically it's going to restart and it's got a full animation where it's going to write out their names and everything. Really dope stuff. As we come up to the front here, we have this show-stopping mantle and fireplace combo. This is just the statement piece of this room. It's hard to see because we have these awesome windows on either side as well that provide a lot of natural light. You can see out to, to kind of the pond off to the side and back there is where the ceremony spot is as well. Really dope. We have our DJ booth set up here off to the side and we are gonna be setting up speakers and a little more up lighting after the ceremony takes place. Again, we're doing the ceremony inside. People are coming in right now, so we're gonna go ahead and get ready to rock this show today uh, catch back for more forgot to mention we're also doing cake spotlighting lighting that cake up family and friends ladies and gentlemen I want to welcome everyone once again to Natalie and Pembroke's wedding reception can someone please make some noise for our new to see you give it up that's what I like to hear that's what I like to hear Without further ado, if everyone could direct their attention to the door, we have some very, very important people to introduce into the wedding reception this evening. Starting with Natalie's parents, please give it up for Tony and Rhoda Bowling. Give it up for them. Following it up, we have Kimber's parents, and that is Harold and Sonia Williams. Give it up for them. Alright, we're going to be moving into our wedding party this evening. We have a lot of people in store for you guys. First up, let's give it up for the friends of the groom, Quentin and Matthew. Right behind them, we have the friend of the bride, Monty, and the cousin of the bride, Abby. Give it up for the friends of the groom, Neil and Benjamin! And following it up, we have the sister of the groom, Kaylee, and the friend of the bride, Caleb! Right behind that, we have friends of the groom, Justin and Joshua!
And that is the wedding right there. It is currently 10.06. We have to be out of here by 11 on the dot. 
Um, Drake's already grabbing up lights because we got to be out here by 10, 11 on the dot. I'm going to go ahead and start breaking down my laptops. Enjoy the time lapse. We're going to get the hell out of here. That right there is everything. All tour now, what time is it? Like 1.50? 1. 1. 1. Or 10.50ish. <laughs> it's not 11 o'clock yet, but anyways. That was awesome. Keep the record spinning. We'll see you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.